is 8 o'clock. You're oh listening gosh. to 90.3. W-E-S-S. East Stroudsburg University. East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Hey guys, this is Busy, and you're listening to my new song, Spinach in My Teeth, on 90.3 FM West. Hope you love it. Hey crew, that was Spinach in My Teeth by Busy. We got Busy on the line. Um, Busy, say hello. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Hey, it's oh. Busy. I'm so stoked to be here. Ah! Hi, Busy. <laughs> Thanks for joining so us. Fun. Yeah. Busy, I'm fangirling a lot right now, just so you know. Are you kidding? I'm fangirling. This is amazing. <laughs> 90.3, everybody hop on. Yeah. <laughs> you tell them. Is this your first time <laughs> on the radio? This is my first time on the radio. Oh. I'm like a little baby radio. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. You guys are taking my radio virginity. Yeah. We love this. We love it so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I was so excited because when I first got my show here, I was playing your music and then I put it on TikTok and you saw it. And I was like, oh. literally, I was like, someone's playing my song on the radio. Oh I, was... I went to my manager and she was like, I'm emailing them right now. I was so excited <laughs> when she texted me. I was like, no way. No way. I was like telling everybody. I was like, this is insane. <laughs> Um, yeah. Let's go. So it's so cool to have you on finally. I was like, we could probably get her on, and now you're here. Yeah, no, this is awesome. I'm stoked. This is so fun. Okay, well, tell us about yourself. Who are you? What? Where did you come from? Great. <laughs> Who is busy? Who is um, busy? So I'm originally from Maryland, oh. just outside DC. I know, not too far from you guys. No, not at all. Shout out Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have that button next to me. <laughs> That is amazing. Um, yeah, so I'm from Maryland. I grew up actually, like, in the sports world and was super into, like, swimming. And my goal at the time was, like, Olympics for swimming. Oh, wow. Which okay. is so funny now because <laughs> clearly that didn't happen. Um, and then I kind of switched over to the music world, like, my in my, like, junior year of high school. And I just kind of started tra- chasing that dream for a while. Nice. And then went to Belmont, and it just kind of all started to pan out. And I started writing there, and it was just fun. So, like, what was that point for you that, like, you were like, oh, I definitely want to do music? Were you, like, involved in, like, the music so, department? It's or? funny. So, music was always, like, a background in my life. Like, it was, like, I learned how to play guitar when I was 12, and I, like, was writing songs then. But it was never, like, the forefront. And it was around, I want to say I was, like, 16 or 17, that, like, a bunch of things, like, coincidedly happened. Like, I was, I got, um... My, I injured my back so I couldn't compete mm. at the level of swimming I competed at and it's like the dumbest way I was like literally <laughs> on a tube on the back of a boat and like slipped a bunch of this <sighs> and I was like of course this is my story oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> um but then like around that same time I had just been like really drawn towards like the music world and like this sounds so dumb but I would sit in the car and like listen to the radio with my mom and like I would look at her like on the way to some practice and be like mom I feel like I can do that and she would <laughs> look at me and be like you're insane like you're not gonna do that <laughs> Um, and so, really supportive parents. Love you guys so much. Um, <laughs> um, and so, it was kind of around that time that I was like, I think I want to do this. And so, I started looking around for um, music colleges, and Belmont popped up. And so, I went there and, like, applied and got in and all that kind of stuff. And through, like, the time of, like, going there, I was just, like, so, like, could not sing in front of anybody. was, like, just oh. freaking terrified. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'm not going to go in as an artist. I'm going to go in as a songwriter. Okay. So I went and was like, okay, I'll just write for other people. Like, I'll learn about it, whatever. So then I did that for, like, three years up until, like, my junior year of college. And then I, what did I do? Oh, and then it was over COVID. Like, a lot of people had time to, like, really think and be like, okay, what am I doing with my life? Right. And... It was, like, that time where I realized, I was like, oh, the only reason I'm not being an artist is fear, and that's literally no reason at all. (laughs) So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. So I, like, reached out to, like, select friends and was like, okay, thinking about doing an artist project. And they were all like, let's go. Like, we're totally going to do it. Um, And so then I, like, wrote for myself for, like, a year and a half, and I wrote Anybody, which was, like, the first song that I was like, holy crap, this is what feels like to me. Yeah. Like, I want to do this. And then here we are. I put it out and yeah. That's so cool. I, w- anybody was the first song I found by you. Um, I remember, no, this is funny. I remember sitting in the car. I know exactly where I was. We were in some construction oh my zone, God. like near yeah, my house. <laughs> and my sister was like, you're going to like this song. And she played <gasps> it. And I was like, and never do I like to admit that I like my sister's music. But I was <laughs> of like, course, of course. I was like, oh my God, this is so good. And then I was just obsessed with you. 
Um, oh my god! Yeah. That's so awesome. So I guess that was like probably around the time that came out. Was that last year, May or something? Like in around summer? Yeah, it was. I would say it was like May thirteenth. Yeah. Which is so crazy. It's almost been a full year. Yeah, I can't believe that because I was. I feel like I've just like been following you for so long. Um, <laughs> I, that, I know, I'm busy. You're telling me. <laughs> um, I want to talk about your TikToks. I oh, love them. Um, you sitting oh in God. the car, just like screaming a sentence <laughs> and then going into one of your songs is like the coolest way to promote, I think. Literally <laughs> just screaming at the camera. Like, I, I, I think it's the first time I did that. It was not like... It was not anything where I was like, I'm going to be so different and unique and whatever. And I was, it was literally just like the first thing that popped in my head because I'd <laughs> never done the artist thing. So all my friends right. were like, okay, like your song come, is coming out. Like you should probably promote on TikTok. And I was like, okay. Like at the time had like maybe 50 followers and, my, and like majority of them were like my family. Right. <laughs> so, so I like posted it, like the intro of the classic, like say a sentence and then go into the song <laughs> yeah. and just like started dancing. Right. And it got cut off like halfway through my first TikTok was like, I think like nine seconds and it was like literal crap yeah and i was late for work and i was like okay whatever i'm just gonna post it <laughs> and i was literally like at my waitressing job if you guys know what taqueria del sol is taqueria del sol no i don't think so it's just like a mexican restaurant shout out taqueria but Got it. It was like my waitressing job at the time and i was like bringing out like food to somebody and like had my phone in my back pocket and it was like literally buzzing like psychopath <laughs> I opened it. My sister's like blowing on my phone. So like, check TikTok, check TikTok right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I like, throw the food on the table and like run in second. And it's like doing so well on TikTok. And yeah. I was like, what is going on? It was such a weird moment. <laughs> I know. Cause I, I like, I know that like a lot of them have blown up and like, it's so cool to it's see so, that. TikTok is such an anomaly to me because like you can put so much effort into things and then like it goes nowhere. And then like you <laughs> no, yeah. and say one sentence and it's like <laughs> everyone like, Oh. So the less I try, the more it works. I love that. And I think it's always funny because, like, every time I see you post one, you're, like, screaming. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, is it a new song? <laughs> I'm like, what's what's the song coming up? <laughs> that's oh so cool. Oh, my God, that's awesome. So, like, what inspires... So that I've just become... You said what? What inspires you to, like, write your songs? Like, you said you were a songwriter for, like, other people. But, like, so, like, what in that moment was inspiring you? But now, like, what inspires you personally to write yeah, your own songs? Yeah, in, in writing for other people, I think like one of my strong suits with the whole music thing which I never used to look at as a strong suit is I I definitely soak up people's emotions around me and yeah. I feel what they feel and for the longest time that was like such a hard thing to like grow up being like so influenced by emotions around me yeah but I think it's such like a, a power to have in the writing room because like if someone's going through something really hard I can empathize with them like on an extreme level so I'm like able to like write where they're coming from yeah so I think that was really helpful um but then writing for myself, I just, like, I mean, it's the classic, like, write what you know. And I just really try and, like, stay true to that. And, like, not any of my songs that have come out or will come out, like, are untrue. Like, every single line of them is accurate to almost default because wow. this song, as you guys are going to hear it, is definitely not the sweetest song. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll definitely be expecting a song. Like, I think that that's what I really try and do is, like, that like going through life and just like the ups and downs and the hardships of it yeah it's just writing about it and i think that's what makes life like so fun to go through with other people is that like we're all going through the same stuff yeah and like if you can write about it and put it in a song so that people can understand it then like why not yeah no for sure do you have like a song that was like the hardest one for you to like write and release i mean you only have like these four but i know i only sadly only have four out right now and they're all amazing Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think the hardest, I don't think like any of them were like hard to write necessarily, but I think the hardest one for me to put out was, is either going to be Finish of My Teeth or Just Yet. Because with Just Yet, it was like so, so like emotional. And that oh, one, yeah. like I wrote by myself. So it was just, I think also scarier to be like, oh, if people don't like this, then like, it's on you. That's really offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, that one's so great. That one was, like, um, scary. That one's always stuck Sorry. in my head. That one, oh, yes. I think. Yeah, I I'm love just, an earworm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That made me sob the first time I heard it, but, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, good. Well, not good that you're crying. No, no, good no. that you felt it. <laughs> I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> Thank God. And then with <laughs> and then with Spin It To My Teeth, I think it comes to, like, the nerve-wracking end of, like, I'm not being a state person in this song, and I, yeah. I never want to be 
like an angry person or come across that way but right. i was like i've talked to so many people about like releasing this song and like if i should or if i shouldn't and like i was talking to my dad about it and he was like i think that like it's not a nice like thing but it's also like what you're feeling and you need to like right. say how you feel no matter how it makes other people feel yeah and, like mm-hmm. it's not like i'm like naming the people in this song right. and i'm also just like i don't know i just think that like anger is such a part of like the grieving process and i think it's like naive to like cut it out of it for sure for other people's sake i was gonna say that i was gonna bring it up that like you know just yet is really an emotional you're going through like the depression phase but this is just like the anger phase of the grieving totally. process totally and like you just gotta scream um <laughs> yeah and i love that i love that you can like switch that and make two different songs about something similar yet so different um oh, thank you. i feel like so many people can relate to that so thank you for you know doing that it, oh my I, gosh of course yeah I i'm think so it, glad that's relatable <laughs> yeah no it's a, it's definitely a good move for sure <laughs> Good, 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 good. Um, <laughs> Hopefully we... you two won't be singing it too loudly because you guys are a loving sweet couple on the radio. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this one quiet between us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we have to know, what's with, like, the fish Yeah. for promoting oh my this God, song? I can't say anything. You okay. can't. I can't say it. I figured. But you just, you have to keep on the lookout on my um, socials because things will get increasingly more interesting we in the will. next two weeks. I okay, love good, the good, fish. Yeah, we love the fish. With the cigarette in its mouth. Yeah. That one's a uh, good that one. That was my favorite part of the whole thing. I was like dying posting that. I was like, I wonder what people are going to say. No, that is a good one. We love that. We were talking about it at dinner tonight. We were like, we have to know. Yeah. Oh and my I... God, I'm so glad. You will find out, I promise. It's not a secret forever, just for now. Okay, perfect. Good. Okay. We love a good secret. Yeah. <laughs> just for a little bit. And so... Oh my God, I'm upset. <laughs> you have these four singles. Are you planning on an album at any time coming up? Yeah, I mean, ob- obviously I would love to put an album out sure. like, tomorrow, but <laughs> I course. need to get to the point where I would, like, my goal here is, like, with releasing a bunch of singles is where, like, people can get to know me as, like, a full person yeah. rather than, like, oh, she released, like, two really happy songs or two sad songs. Like, I want to be able to, like, kind of paint a picture of who I am as a person right. and, like, an artist. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm hoping in the next year I'll definitely release, like, a chunk of songs because it's so fun to do that. Awesome. Well, you're doing yeah. a fantastic job with everything. I'm oh my obsessed. gosh, you guys are so sweet. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. This is so fun. Um, who plays the instruments on your tracks? Okay, so I work with, well, on the recorded track, it's my producer, um, Brandon Meager, who's like done all my stuff, and he's just like the most talented human being ever, and he wrote anybody mm. and finished my teeth with me. That's um, awesome. And he just, like, works with, like, organic instruments, like, doesn't mm-hmm. really use a lot of, like, digital stuff and just can play, like, anything. Yeah, that's awesome. So he awesome. does majority of the instruments on it. Cool. Yeah. Which is sick. It is really, like, an authentic sound. Yeah. He's like, that's, sure. I love it. Yeah, he just has kind of a raw take on all the things. Yeah. And I'm working on my guitar, and I can play it on stage, but the thought of messing that up is scary so yes. i'm gonna wait till i rec- record stuff on my actual track. right <laughs> have you played like any shows like i know you've done a couple um yeah so i haven't done like a crazy amount but i just actually played two shows in london yeah i yeah. saw that looks like, that was that? like a oh. dream it was like so cool i can we imagine. played um do you guys know vintage dress like the venue no no okay it's this cool place and in the daytime, it's, like, this, like, vintage thrift store. And oh. then at night, they, like, transform it into, like, a bar. And, like, upstairs is this, like, big stage. That's so cool. It's, like, speakeasy vibes. That's um, cool. So it's, like, yeah. Live shows, I think, are just, like, my favorite part about music in general. Because yeah. you get to, like, connect with the audience and, like, feel, like, all that energy. Yeah. Um, and then I played my first show at the basement in Nashville. So that was really, really fun. Awesome. That's so cool. What's it like living in Nashville now? I love it. And Nashville is, like, home to me. I think purely because, like, Belmont really made it, like, I had a community. And, like, the weirdest part about Belmont being a college is that, like, normally after college, everybody, like, moves to different states and whatever. Mm -hmm. But with Belmont, it's, like, we're all creative. So we're either going to stay in Nashville or go to L.A. But, like, the majority of my friends stayed in Nashville. So I'm, like, still best friends with all of them. And we're all still, like, living together and living the same kind of place. Well, that's cool. That's sick. It yeah, so like, it definitely um, makes things fun. You've got a lot of listeners on Spotify in London. 
It's like your main. Yeah, uh... it's crazy. So did that, that was one of the reasons we played over there. We had an agent oh, okay. reach out and was like, "Hey, would love to have you play out here. Your numbers look good." And I was That's like, awesome. "Oh, twist my arm." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it was my first time there, so that was crazy. Wow. Have you guys been to London before? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'd never... Oh, my God. I, I, You guys have to go. It's amazing. We'll definitely have to. Yeah. <laughs> Their accents also, I'm just obsessed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Like, you can't, you can't not like it. Nothing better than that. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else, Mr. Isaac? Um, 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 um... I don't know. I don't either. I'm busy. Would you like to say well, anything I'm else? Well, I'm we got to chat. This is literally so much fun. This yeah. is so cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me and for playing my music. I so appreciate it. Yeah, much, absolutely. And we'll continue playing your music here. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I hope everybody enjoys Finish in My Teeth and lots more to come. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. We'll play you out with another one of your songs. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, fun. Okay. Um, I think we'll play the earworm. How about that? Okay. Do you want to? You want to? Um, you want to introduce it? it? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Do I do like the whole "Hey, I'm busy," or do I just like leave it? Whatever you want. Yeah, okay. whatever you're feeling. I'm gonna pretend like I'm like really on air. Hi guys, I'm busy, and you're gonna be listening to my old single just yet. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much busy. for having us on. Or having. Of course. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.